a model of BCI control. A BCI acquires input from the human brain, mostly its electrical activity recorded with electroencephalography, e.g., which is filtered, classified and transferred to an output signal. This output signal relates to the brain response or pattern of the BCI users and conveys the respective intention of the user. Importantly, the user receives feedback of his or her action and thus, BCIs imply a closed loop between the system and the user. The output signal can be used to control an application, ideally, one that meets the desire of the user. Four aspects can be identified that contribute to BCI control, 1. Individual characteristics of the BCI user, 2. Characteristics of the BCI, 3. Type of feedback and instruction, and 4. The BCI controlled application. The individual characteristics of the user include psychological, physiological and neurobiological factors. For example, visual motor coordination and motivation have been identified to predict performance with BCI controlled by sensory motor rhythms and event-related potentials. Better inhibitory control, i.e. ability to allocate attention and inhibit distracting stimuli, measured as heart rate variability was related to better ERP BCI performance. The amplitude of the SMR peak at rest and the P300 amplitude evoked in an auditory oddball paradigm were also related to performance with the respective BCI. Further, the location and quantity of neuronal loss due to accident or disease may deteriorate performance. Besides the hardware used, the software components, namely the classifier of the input signal further determines BCI control, for review. Common spatial pattern technique and stepwise linear discriminant analyzes prove to perform well in SMR and ERP BCIs. Little research is available on how the type of feedback and instruction provided in a BCI setting may influence performance. From early neurofeedback studies it is known that immediate feedback is superior to delayed feedback which held also true in a BCI context. It may also be the case that a more ecologically valid feedback in a virtual environment outperforms traditional two-dimensional feedback on a computer screen. A quite robust finding across BCI types is that visual feedback is superior to auditory feedback. In the SMR-based BCI instruction to imagine motor imagery kinesthetically leads to increased performance as compared to visual motor imagery. Finally, the complexity of the application influences performance. Usually simple spelling tasks are mastered more accurately and faster than environmental control or control of information technology, such as internet. As can be seen, the model offers multiple toeholds for improvement and user feedback. In the following sections we will introduce novel achievements for BCI that improve and facilitate BCI use and are based on feedback provided by end-users within the user-centered approach. Before we detail the novel approaches, the user-centered design and its application to BCI will be outlined. A model of BCI control comprised of four aspects, individual characteristics, BCI characteristics, feedback and instruction, BCI controlled application. Colors serve for distinction of categories only. Boldness of black arrows indicates possible strength of influence on BCI control.